Be fruitful. Welcome yet again on uh, the second session of uh, our coaching, coaching time. Uh, we're handling the topic, the you that you can emerge after the COVID-19. We handled the first part, was very nice, and I promise we'll be back uh, for the second part. And today, I want to share something with you that says never have a plan B for anything. Never have a plan B for anything. This could disrupt our minds, but as we flow, I'll show you that it's very important and very true. Now, we are in times where everything is like, it spells no hope. Things are changing. We don't know when we get back to the market, how thing, are things gonna be this, are things gonna be that, are things gonna be this and this. Now, before all this happened, you had a plan, you had a vision. You, you had goals put down together. You had a business you were running and all that. Now, simply because you are not into full action for these few days or months, whatever it could be, does not mean that you have to drop that idea, that you have to drop that business, that you have to drop that goal, or you have to close down that company or that shop whatsoever. No, 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 no. You just have to know how can I modernize it? How can I rebrand it? How can I take it forward? But not dropping it to jump into something new, to jump into something else. No, don't have a plan B. This is what I mean. There are no options in business. There are no options in business. You're either into it. If you drop it, some other person is going to get it and they're going to take it forward. Now, there is nothing more painful, more painful than dropping something that was great and potentially fit to take you somewhere in business and somebody else picks it, they ride with it so greatly, they thrive with it and you look and say, oh, this could be, could be me, this would have been me. I wish I did not drop this simply because you ran into plan B. Stick on plan A, but just formulate new strategies. Just think of new ways on how you can further and push that idea. This means that it is just a scattered mind. If you are a plan B of things, it's just a scattered mind. You have a scattered mind. You can't sit down to focus on one thing and make sure that you take it home. You take it home. You make sure that this thing yields results that I am longing for. So don't, don't have a scattered mind by having plan B, C, D, whatever. If this one fails, I'll get into the other. No, life cannot be that. You don't have time. Time is the greatest asset. You burn this time, you can't recover it. So use the time you are with to make sure that you ride on something until you get the results thereof. Until you get the results thereof. Don't have plan B, but have multiple strategies for your plan A. It's very important. Just have multiple strategies. That's why I tell people, when you get into a business, first draw a roadmap for it. Are you really into this for survival or you're into this because it is life and it is passion for you? Can you do this for the next three decades and 40, can you do this and retire into it? Is it a business you are doing that can be transformed to your coming generation? Is that possible? If that is not possible, then, then just know you're into this for survival. It's not gonna take you out anywhere. When things change, when the world changes, when the business style changes, when the market changes, that means you're gonna drop it and get into something else. It's very bad to waste energy, exact energy, exact time, resources on something that you know is not going to take you till the end. So please think about it. Don't have plan B, but have multiple strategies. Now let's follow still. Business requires tenacity of the original mental fitness. Business requires tenacity of the original mental fitness. By the time you sat down to craft that idea, you know, put down all resources, open up that office, open up that retail shop and all that, the mindset you had in that time was too fit and it is still fresh to take you through. Always revisit it, revisit it, you know, mix it, spice it with your multiple strategies. It takes you through. 
If you ever look for encouragement externally, then you know you are missing up, missing on the greatness that is in you. Encouragement and motivation needs to spring from the inside of you. Why? Because that mental tenacity is still, that mental fitness is still in you. So business requires tenacity of the original mental fitness. Now this is it. In whatsoever you are doing, in whatsoever you are building, the product or company and everything, let it be best on the original intentions of everything. Let it be best there. Let it be best. This was it. This was the plan. This was the blueprint. And it must go. Don't get along the way and drift off the path. You're going to crash. You're going to knock. Very many people could meet you along the way. Like a lot of information is moving on in these times. You get what I'm saying? Sieve the information. Get it, grasp it, absorb it, sieve it. Digest it. If it can't be digested, throw it. If you can digest it, then take it home. Just know that that is important for you. But stick on the plan. You get what I'm saying? Stick on the plan, the original intention. This was the intention, this was the purpose, and we must get it there. So let things fit by design, not by default. Let things fit by design, not by default. And when I say this, it takes me to what I call the situation room. It takes me to what I call the situation room. You see, if you understand what I'm coaching you through, you always have this situation room any day, any time. When you get this situation room, uh, it will determine, it determines how you push forward. It prepares you for what is yet to come. And it gets you on the go. That's what I was saying. It determines what you do. It determines your why. It determines your when. It determines your where. Then it prepares you. It sets you. It puts you together. It composes you into what you have to do. It gets you on the go. Trust me on this. Never do something when you have not yet processed it internally. The greatest asset we all have, or the greatest capital we all have, is not the liquid cash, is not the money in the bank account. No, it is, you know, digesting this idea within you and you're fully acquainted of it that it has to work. When you believe in what you are doing, then other people will get on board. Then the last thing I will share with you is this. If you want to motivate, create a following, get people backing you, then you need to deploy a seemingly impossible idea to run with. People don't want to back up people who are doing casual things and regular things. If you come up with an idea that is seemingly impossible, it is too grand and too big, then people will be like, mm -mm, this thing I want to be part of it. This thing I want to be part of it. You get what I'm saying? Let me give you an example. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. comes in and says, I have a dream. I have a dream. You know the story. People came, backed him up because they saw that this thing is good, but yet impossible. But then the inspiration and the motivation is we can do it. We can do it. So how inspiring is your idea? How inspiring is your business vision? How inspiring is the goal you're working on? Because there is no self-made man. You need people to back you up. You need also to back yourself up. But if that something is not challenging enough, it's not you know, it's not inspiring, it does not show the positive, it does not show the challenging bit of it that has to be manned, that has to be handled as an, you know, as an opponent, then they will, it will lose test and life and value. So get to know that. Let your idea be inspiring. Don't have a plan B, stick on your plan A, but have multiple strategies and also get into the situation room. It will determine what you do, where you do it, why you do it, and when you do it. Then it also prepare you for the marketplace and it will also get you on the go. You will be over on the go, on the move, till you get the desired results. Part 3 is coming. Stay looked.